Well, it's kind of like the rest, but <laughs> food wise. Um, today we're gonna eat some fettuccine alfredo with chicken and some and a smash burger. And uh, yum, let's dig in. Bismillah. Smash burger, smash burger, one, two, three. I'm very happy to have this meal. <laughs> I mean, very thankful. Oh my God, look at that shinsy little burger. You know when every time she orders food and she tells us like, oh, I got this for free when I ordered this? This is the one time I would believe her if she actually said it. Look at that little piece of shit burger. Is there a burger in that or is that just bread? That is awful, man. Thankful. And to drink, I have Barbican. Have you ever had that? It's like a malt beverage. It's really good. Fruit flavored. And the rest of this Parmesan, which means emergency Parmesan shopping coming soon. Jesus Christ. Yeah. When you order. I love how she doesn't even taste the food first. Yeah. If that's a good. For, yeah. A massive portion of fettuccine Alfredo. But if that's good fettuccine Alfredo, you're putting that goddamn like wood chip shit all over it. Oh, taste it first, weirdo. Order pasta from anywhere. It should be obligatory to to have that all right let's dig in barbie can let's get rid of this box the cat will probably try to sit in it <laughs> so this is a smash cheesy cheesy smash burger yum it's brioche bun looks like you guys are so cute in the chat Everyone's like, I've never seen a combo like this. Oh my God, what is, who would put these things together? We're, we're watching Chantal. We just changed video. It's, we haven't changed person. We're still watching Chantal. This is Chantal. <laughs> I have two cravings, must satisfy both. What can I order that's the biggest portion of food? Not what I really want. What's the biggest thing I can buy? Fettuccine Alfredo. But that's not going to be enough for one. It says it's only for four. I know, let's get a burger too. Burger appetizer. Fattest thing I've ever heard in my life. Pickles, onions, ketchup. Double patty. Beauty bite. Oh my God. You're probably right. Holy shit. That soup was god awful. It was massive. She ate it all, but it was god awful. And she was talking about wanting fucking fast food while she ate the soup. You're right. You're right. That fucking hell. Bottomless pit, this woman. Oh, fucking hell. I would love to know for real, for real, how much are they spending a month on food? And I'm not talking about his dino nuggies. Just insanity. Oh, my gosh out of this world <clears throat> interesting this is maybe petty but i'm gonna note it anyway notice how every single time we've seen her drink like a barbican or any other drink pretty much she puts it in a glass unless it's that coke the two liter the other day she was swigging do you think that was done on purpose? Because like, if you didn't know, that looks like a bottle of beer. And for the shock value of the hijabi woman swigging on a beer, do you think that she did that on purpose and left it in the bottle? I wouldn't put that past her. Anything for views? I think strawberry. Yeah. Anywho. So guys... This looks like more like parpadelli than fettuccine. There's broccoli, chicken, mushroom. And speaking of mushrooms, I thought I would talk to you guys about this um, case that I came upon on TikTok. I follow a lot of true crime on there. I don't know. It's just the strangest case, but... Very tragic. So like any cases I discuss on my channel going forward uh, as well, because I haven't really done many cases yet, but I plan on doing more videos like this. If you enjoy them, um, my heart really just goes out to the victims and all of this because at the end of the day, it is a tragedy and lives were lost. There is this case that happened July 29th in the rural town of 
Leogatha, Leongatha in um, Australia. Anyone else having flashbacks to the fucking cheese graveyard? Why would you do this again? Stop. You might have heard of it. It's a case all over the news. And um, hmm. oh my god, 1.25 is not fast enough. I'm speeding her up more. Yeah. Wah 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 wah. Thank you for the super chat. Could be. <laughs> so good i can't even tell they actually use a light cream sauce in it apparently so anyway so in this town in australia on the 29th um a woman named erin patterson she cooked a lunch she had a luncheon for her former in-laws You know, her in-laws were present. Um, their family, there's some of their relatives. Oh my God, my unmute wouldn't work. Okay, this is going back to when I tried to fucking pause and speak before. It wouldn't work. I couldn't speak. My computer hates me. Uh, what the fuck? Oh, tell me I already lost my train of thought. Yeah, oh yeah, okay. She says that the sauce, it's made with something light. It's like a light cream sauce. That was what for us? So we, oh, okay, it doesn't matter that she's eating a portion for four people. She says it's a light cream sauce to go with her burger. <laughs> Ma'am, if it had like no sauce on all that pasta and shit, it would still be a meal for four people. Um, and she did invite her ex-husband, but for whatever reason, he was busy or something and couldn't attend. So she ended up making them a dish that had mushrooms. Nothing tasted out of the ordinary. But then several hours later, the relatives became very ill with flu-like symptoms, nausea, getting sick, whatnot, ended up in the hospital. And sadly, three of the relatives um, succumbed to the illness and had passed away. One of them is still in the hospital fighting for their lives, awaiting a liver transplant because whatever they were affected by targeted their liver aggressively. Wow, that is fucking nuts, eh? Mushrooms are the craziest thing. Think about it. They're all mushrooms, right? Some mushrooms can fucking kill you. Some mushrooms get you high as a kite. And some mushrooms just, like, uh, go on a pizza. It's so fucking random. Causing their organs to shut down. So eventually it was revealed that Aaron had prepared a dish made from possible death cat mushrooms. Now, death cat mushrooms are the deadliest mushroom on the planet. But they kind of like look and taste just like regular mushrooms, apparently. They don't taste poisonous which makes them dangerous because how many times have we walked through a forest and seen a bunch of mushrooms and thought, Oh wow. I wonder if I could eat those, you know? <laughs> um, I can only speak for myself here, but never, never. I'm afraid of mother nature. And I just assume it's all out to get me. When I see mushrooms growing on shit, I treat them all like they're fucking poisonous. How fat do you have to be to want to eat every fucking mushroom you pass in a forest? And ma'am, when are you walking in a forest? This whole story is, wait a minute, wait a minute, stop. Well, don't. Um, you never know what they are. And they could be poisonous and deadly. Now with death cat mushrooms, it takes like a good, it takes several, several hours to, to fall ill. And by that point, you just think maybe food poisoning or flu, you know, you just kind of wait it out. By that point, it's too late, tragically. And so she's actually a suspect right now because there's an investigation going on and the plot thickens because the ex-husband reported that last year he had fallen ill himself and ended up in the hospital for a long time with a very um, 
mystery kind of gastro illness. And I mean, they thought he was going to pass away several times. So that they find to be a little bit of a weird coincidence. And oh my God, I'm getting paranoid. I love mushrooms. I'm now I'm getting all paranoid. I've also smoked, so maybe the paranoia is heightened tonight. But uh, now I'm thinking in my head, oh, my God, I'm never eating mushrooms outside of my house again. Never, never, never. I will make my own goddamn mushrooms. Then I know what mushrooms I am eating. Uh, Annie, uh, only 3% of mushrooms in the wild are poisonous. That's still 3% terrifying to me. I don't know about Mother Nature and shit. I'm telling you. The fact that the in-laws were targeted in this case, in this poisoning, is something a bit suspect. And something to take seriously, not just ignore Another thing that they discovered was a food dehydrator that had been disposed of at a local tips, which is uh, like a disposal site, like a waste disposal site, kind of like a landfill. And they are currently testing it because it is believed to belong to Aaron Patterson, and they're testing it for traces of death cat mushrooms. So it's looking less and less good in her favor, you know? Um, also, she didn't get sick at all. I think her and maybe her children or something, I don't remember exactly if the children were there, but I think there were children that they didn't get sick, and she coincidentally didn't get sick. Now, I know people argue, you know, you could just say that you don't like mushrooms. Maybe she hated mushrooms. I've never been so riveted by one of Chantal's videos in my life, and I'm, like, ashamed to admit this. But, oh, my God, this story, I eat way too many mushrooms to not be, like, terrified by this. And so many people, what she just said, oh, my God, so many people are like, oh, I don't like mushrooms. Oh, my, I'm never eating a mushroom outside of my home again. Never. You mark my words. Never again in my life. This is terrifying shit. Fair enough. But then why make a dish that you yourself can't enjoy with the rest of the people? Why make mushrooms if you don't like them? <laughs> Maybe for other people. but it's Because, Fatty, some people cook for others. I know you can't imagine or, or fathom not like getting in on that yourself. But some people genuinely just cook for other people. That exists just makes sense if you hate them so much why would you even think of making a dish with mushrooms even for other people i mean you know you could easily make something else that everyone would enjoy together okay but what if you ask the person specifically it's your birthday what do you want for dinner and they're like mm, a whole ass pile of mushrooms are you gonna deny that person what they want just because you don't want it how fucking selfish can you be so i'm not being accusatory i'm just going by what i'm hearing on the news um to me it looks fishy especially with the dehydrator and then the previous incident with her ex-husband, you know, inviting the, it, it's almost one of those, like, I've seen a lot of forensic files and there's like these perfect crime cases where it's just, you know, people you hate get invited to a luncheon prepared by you and everyone gets poisoned and they blame it on like food poisoning or, you know, I didn't know, you know, ignorance. I didn't know they were poisonous mushrooms kind of thing. Which it could be because there still wasn't a motive revealed as to why she, if she was complicit in unaliving them, why would she do it? You know, they would have to be close enough. I would think that they would all go to dinner together. They would have to be on friendly terms, right? So, what? Who knows? What do you guys think? Comment below. Here's my comment. You got to learn how to take bites while telling a story. There's timing to all of this. Watch other people mukbang and tell stories and learn like, oh, that's where I'm supposed to take my bite. Oh, oh that's where I'm supposed to take a sip of my drink. It's, so, it's kind of hard to follow along these fucking broken ass sentences. It's the first time I want to follow I hope that the along. man who's recovered right now pulls through. And if he does, down the line, he might be able to share some of his story. But I think when she was interviewed about the situation, she like misspoke and talked about him in the past tense. Which investigators did catch that slip up. I guess we'll see what happens. Either way, very tragic. And honestly, it was eye-opening for me, this case, because like I said, you go walk for walks in forest and you think, I wonder if those mushrooms are edible, just like mushrooms in the store. <laughs>
too many fucking bites. No, it, you know, and it's more than just like the bites and how rapidly she takes the goddamn bites during a sentence. There's a weird like cadence to the way she speaks. Even when there's no bite, she takes these weird pauses right in the middle of a sentence. Maybe it's because she gets out of breath or something and needs to like <laughs> a couple of times before she keeps going. I don't know, but it's very like bad as a storyteller and really hard to kind of follow along. You're already bad at telling a story and that really doesn't help keep anyone's attention. And then there's all the bites, you know? Ugh. Elaine, thank you for the super chat, girl. <laughs> I appreciate it, girl. They should probably put a sign if there are, you know, if it is a region where they grow a lot of death crabs, or where, sorry, I should say a lot of death crabs grow, they should maybe warn people and say, you know, if you see any mushroom, wild mushrooms, do not pick them, do not eat them, leave them alone. <laughs> Same thing with anything poisonous. There should be a, um, a warning because a lot of people are not, you know, aware of that. Me included. Oh, yeah, Nary Yarn Addiction, she had said, like, oh, I was watching this on TikTok. I mean, there's, like, an instinct in me that says, you know, don't eat it, <laughs> which is, I'm thankful for that. But anyway, um, it, it, the people eating the food probably didn't even know that they were, picked, like, death caps. They would not be able to tell just from taste, apparently. But... Well, of course they didn't know, you fucking idiot. Do you think they would have eaten the death caps if they bit into the first one and went, oh, that tastes like a death cap. What a stupid comment. If this victim comes to and survives the ordeal, he'll definitely be able to give more details. I did hear in one news report that she first claimed that she got them from a market. So, and then her story changed. So there's just a lot of things that make her look suspicious. Is that the end of the story? I'm not here for this shit. My God. Three bites in a row, not a word. We don't know. We, we don't know. Who the fuck is we? Who the fuck are you? We don't know. Shut up with a mouthful of burger. We don't know. Detective right now, case. She's just a suspect. Why would investigate more? Because, you know, that's how the law works, right? You can't just be arrested instantly. There has to be an investigation that takes place. She's like, unfortunately, I found that out when I went to the police station and filed a false police report against Koki. And I thought they were going to go and arrest him right away. And they were like, no, madame, we have to do investigation first. Where's your breathing machine? Uh, extra toe floppy tits pondu thank you for the super chat the more evidence the better that was a very good alfredo and the burger is really delicious i think smash burgers are my new favorite form of burger <laughs> i hate thick like roundish patties with like medium in the middle. Oh. Mm -mm. Any meat I eat has to be well done. <laughs> well done, aka not prepared by you. <laughs> uh, Shannon, I just saw your message. So this drink, I forgot to explain, it's a fizzy drink, sort of like soda. Oh, I couldn't care less about your fucking drink, get fucked. Yeah, you did it for the shock value of drinking what looked like a beer bottle. I get it, I get it, no problem. Hmm? <laughs>